near the vibrant city of Barcelona, near Catalonia, Spain. It was a warm, sunny afternoon when a father and his young son decided to take a leisurely walk through the local park. As they strolled past an array of sculptures and statues, the child's attention was drawn to a large, imposing papier-mâché stegosaurus, its vivid colours glistening under the sun. The boy tugged at his father's hand, leading him closer to the prehistoric giant. As they neared the statue, an unpleasant odour filled the air, prompting the father to cover his nose. Curious and concerned, he peered through a crack in the stegosaurus's hind leg. What he saw made his heart race, a figure wedged tightly inside. He quickly realised it was a human body. Authorities were immediately called to the scene. Police officers and firefighters arrived promptly, their faces grim as they assessed the situation. The crowd that had gathered watched in stunned silence as firefighters began to carefully cut the statue apart to extract the body. The man inside was identified as a 39-year-old local resident who had been reported missing only a few hours before the grim discovery. Initial police investigations ruled out foul play. A police representative speculated that the man had accidentally dropped his mobile phone inside the statue and had crawled in headfirst to retrieve it. Tragically, he became stuck, unable to free himself from the confined space. It was believed that the man had been trapped for several days, his cries for help unheard by passers-by. The once vibrant and playful Stegosaurus had become a silent tomb. The man's family devastated by the loss, received an outpouring of support from neighbours and friends. They found some solace in knowing that the mystery of his disappearance had been solved, but the manner of his death left an indelible mark on their hearts. In the days that followed, the park remained unusually quiet. Visitors passed by the remains of the Stegosaurus with a mixture of reverence and sorrow, paying silent tribute to the man whose life had ended in such an unexpected and tragic manner. In January 2023, a terrible accident claimed the life of Leandro Matias de Novaes, a 40-year-old lawyer and TikTok influencer from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Leandro was well known for his engaging online presence, where he shared various aspects of his life with a large following. However, his life took a devastating turn during a routine visit to a medical facility. On January 16th, Leandro accompanied his mother to Laboratorio Cura for an MRI scan. The visit was meant to be straightforward, ensuring his mother received the necessary medical imaging. MRI machines are known for their powerful magnetic fields, which are essential for producing detailed images of the body's internal structures. Because of this, Strict protocols are in place to prevent any metallic objects from entering the MRI room, as they can be hazardous. Upon arrival, both Leandro and his mother were briefed about these safety protocols. The staff instructed them to leave any metallic items outside the MRI suite. Additionally, they were required to sign a term of acknowledgement confirming their understanding of these instructions. Despite these precautions, Leandro carried a concealed firearm into the room, neglecting to disclose its presence to the medical staff. As the MRI machine was activated, the powerful magnetic force instantly pulled the firearm from Leandro's waistband. The gun discharged upon impact with the machine, and the bullet struck Leandro in the abdomen. The sudden and violent incident left everyone in shock, and emergency responders were immediately called to the scene. Leandro was swiftly transferred to the hospital's intensive care unit, where he received urgent medical attention. The severity of his injuries required constant monitoring and intensive treatment. For several days, Leandro fought for his life, but despite the best efforts of the medical team, he succumbed to his injuries on February 6, 2023. The incident was widely reported in the media, drawing attention to the critical importance of adhering to safety guidelines in medical environments. The Order of Attorneys of Brazil in Cotia expressed their condolences, stating, 
It is with deep regret that OAB Cotia communicates to all fellow lawyers the unexpected loss of our dear friend and lawyer, Dr. Leandro Matias de Novaes. We are sorry for the loss and we sympathize with his family in this moment of pain. Laboratorio Cura also issued a statement emphasizing that all necessary accident prevention protocols had been followed by their team. They reiterated that both Leandro and his mother had been informed about the metallic contraindications and had acknowledged these warnings in writing. Despite these measures, the concealed firearm went undisclosed. MRI machines, while invaluable for diagnostic purposes, can become deadly when safety guidelines are ignored. This tragic event underscores the critical need for full compliance with safety instructions to prevent similar accidents in the future. Leandro Matias de Novaes left behind a legacy on social media and a grieving family who had to come to terms with the sudden and avoidable nature of his death. His story has resonated with many, highlighting the importance of vigilance and adherence to safety measures in all aspects of life. In a truly bizarre incident in Alwar, Rajasthan, 82-year-old Shivdayal Sharma lost his life in what can only be described as a freak accident. The retired railway employee was relieving himself near the railway tracks when a Van der Parat express train collided with a stray cow. The impact of the collision was so forceful that the cow was launched approximately 100 feet into the air, ultimately landing on Sharma, who was standing about 30 meters away from the point of collision. Sharma died instantly from the impact. The incident took place near the Kalimori Gate in Alwar around 8 p.m. Another person who was also present near the tracks narrowly escaped being hit by the flying cow. The tragic event underscores the ongoing issue of cattle wandering onto railway tracks in India a problem that has seen numerous incidents reported across various routes Shivdayal Sharma had retired from his position as an electrician with the Indian Railways 22 years ago. Following the accident, local police transferred Sharma's body to the General Hospital's mortuary and it was later handed over to his family after a post-mortem examination. This unusual accident has sparked conversations about the safety measures along railway tracks in India. Railway officials have been implementing various strategies to prevent such incidents, including erecting fences and frequent whistling by trains in areas prone to cattle crossing. Despite these efforts, the frequency of such accidents remains a concern prompting calls for more stringent safety protocols to protect both human and animal lives.